Manor. All things Chicago Cup. Gabriela Garcia. And Michael Allen. Welcome to a brand new episode of Northside Manor. I'm Gabriela. And I'm Michael. And sorry we haven't been with you these past couple weeks. Things got kind of crazy busy and then we had some technical difficulties. But we're back and we have the latest Cubs news. So let's get started. Time for game recaps. Last week in the Red Series, Friday, the Cubs lost 5 to nothing. Saturday, they lost 3 to 5. And Sunday, they won 6 to 2. Ian Happ homered twice. And Anthony Rizzo also homered. Then we move on to the Rays Series. Tuesday, the Cubs lost 5 to 6. Wednesday, they won 7 to 3. John Jay homered. And then the Brewers make up game Thursday, the Cubs lost 2 to 11. Then the Pirates series this weekend started yesterday, Friday. The Cubs won 6 to 1. Anthony Rizzo homered and Chris Bryant homered twice. Now we're going to preview the weekend versus the Pittsburgh Pirates, the probable pitching matchup. Saturday it'll be Ivan Nova, who is 8 and 6, versus Jake Arrieta, who is 8 and 6. And Sunday it'll be Jamison Tyon, who is 5 and 2, versus John Lester, who is 5 and 5. For Cubs news, Cubs closer Wade Davis will join his former and current manager Joe Madden at the All-Star Game. Davis will be the Cubs' lone representative following their World Series championship season, which is odd since the right-hander was not part of the team last year. The Cubs dealt veteran catcher Miguel Montero to the Blue Jays on Monday in exchange for a player to be named later or cast considerations. Montero, who was designated for assignment after making critical comments toward pitcher Jake Arrieta, batted 286 in 44 games with the Cubs in his role as backup catcher. According to reports, the Cubs will pick up the majority of Montero's $7 million remaining salary. The Cubs placed right-hander John Lackey on the 10-day disabled list on Thursday to give him time to deal with plantar fasciitis in his right foot. Kyle Schwarber was recalled from AAA Iowa to take Lackey's spot on the 25-man roster. Chris Bryant felt short in the National League Eastern's MLB All-Star Game final vote balloting. The Dodgers' Justin Turner was named the NL to the NL team after four days of fan voting. Bryant finished second, followed by the Nationals' Anthony Rendon, the Rockies' Mark Reynolds, and the Marlins' Justin Bohr. The Cubs have signed their second first round draft pick, pitcher Alex Lane, who was the 30th player taken overall. Lane is signed for $1.925 million. The Cubs have already agreed to terms with their top pick, Brendan Little, who was selected 27th overall. And now it's time for a brand new Madden's Madness. With the Cubs down 11-2 to the Brewers on Thursday afternoon, Joe Madden didn't feel the need to use any more of his relievers. Instead, he brought in a secret weapon, a player who puts batters away with 60 miles per hour curveballs and 56 mile per hour slow pitch softball changeups, an outfielder who's never pitched in his pro baseball life, a man named John Jay. Check this out. Now it's time for the good, the bad, the ugly. His most recent homer put a dent in the door at Yankee Stadium. 3 2. See ya. That is ripped deep to left center field. See ya. A home run for Aaron Judge. Yankees are on the board. This week's bat, Logan Morrison of the Rays had some words about not getting the chance to be in the home run derby this year. I'm not disappointed. It's part of the game, Morrison said, per Tampa Bay Times. I play for the Rays. I get it. Morrison called out Gary Sanchez, who has 14 home runs this season. Gary shouldn't be there. Gary's a great player, but he shouldn't be in the home run derby. Morrison said, I remember when I had 14 home runs. That was a month and a half ago. And for this week's ugly, Wade Davis is the only Cubs player to be selected to this year's All-Star game. The Cubs are the first team who won the World Series to not have a returning player in the All-Star game. And now it's time for Around the League news. 
umpire Angel Hernandez is suing the league and the commissioner for denying him to be on a World Series crew. He says race plays a huge part in it. However, in my opinion, he's just a bad ump. He was also just put on the umpiring crew for the All-Star game. And news this week will be a bunch of rumors, so here are these. The Cardinals are looking to see if the Blue Jays will part ways with Josh Donaldson. If the Jays are going to be sellers this year, it seems that the Astros, Cubs, and Yankees are clear frontrunners to possibly land Marcus Stroman. After being DFA'd last week, Bartolo Colon is drawing interest from the Mets. The Mets have contacted the Braves to see what the Braves want in order to get a trade in the works. However, the Twins beat the Mets to it. They have signed Big Sexy to a minor league deal. <laughs>